Gregor, congratulations on the victory. I'm curious, what are the emotions now after getting just a violent finish like that? Oh, man, I'm, I'm so happy. But uh, in the same time, I'm not surprised because I know like how we're working hard for the for this fight. Um, I, I had like so much time to work on myself, to work in the strategy, to work in everything I I needed, and I just show it inside the cage. <laughs> I thought the fight was a little longer, but the interview is gonna be much longer than that. There was a little bit of talk of maybe the elbow hit him in the back of the head. A lot of people online may, maybe think that the referee missed maybe a, a shot that should have been like maybe paused. Did, did anyone? Did you? Are you aware of that? And what did you say to those people? Yeah, um, I I didn't hit that. I knew uh, what I was doing there and uh, was right behind the ear. You know, a little bit here. He was on the side. So how are we gonna hit the head if he was on the side? You know, and I just and and I land like. If you guys saw the video, you can see the video. I land one, and he turned it, and then I stop it, and then I feel he like quit, like you know, weak and, and dizzy, and then I land the other one, but I was right on the side, and the ref came and they stopped the fight. I hit him like uh, two or three times, and that was necessary to he stop the fight, but I didn't at all hit him the in the back of the head. And it's obviously we haven't seen you since January. So since then, what have you been working on in camp? And like, has it been refreshing maybe to focus on yourself rather than preparing preparing for a fight? Yeah, man. So after January, uh, that shake myself, you know, my family. It was hard for us at the moment, but I knew, you know, I need to do something new. Um, I'm in the UFC, man. That's 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 the biggest stage in the world of MMA. And uh, if you want to go higher and higher, I need to change myself. And that fight showed me that. So I have so much weapons, um, you know. And, and like as I Robocop, I just was using one. And they said, man, you have so much more right there. And I will back, you know, to my roots. I, I started training and working my jiu-jitsu. I went to Oklahoma, trained with one of my big friends, Rafael Lovato. He helped me a lot. And then when I get back to Florida, I was with um, Cyborg and Wagner Rocha, all those guys. And, and with my team, Kilcliffe FC, with all the coaches there, Henry, Greg. We did amazing work. And also, uh, I started working, you know, a little bit in my mind. Uh, sometimes the people, you know, ah, I lost and, and now I need to go back to the gym and just training and training and training. But I knew something needs to change inside of myself, inside of me. And that's what I was, you know, looking. And now, um, I would, before the fight, you know, my will was there. You know, I, I want to be in the cage. I want to be, I want to live there. And that's what I love to do. I, f I find my love again with a fight. I, I do that since I was a kid, you know. And, 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 and when back in Brazil, I just was there because that was my work, my job. No, man, I, I need to get back. Say, man, that's what I love to do. You know, that's, that's I live in for. Uh, I worked so hard to be here. My father passed away in 2015. He gave his own life to live that dream. And I'm so thankful for him. So... I go back in my, you know, my roots and everything I did and say, bro, I, I, I born it for it. So I need to do this for real. And now I'm here and, and I just show it a couple of minutes inside the cage. Well, I guess moving forward, what would you like the rest of your year to look like? Are, are there names that you want? Would you like to rebook that Brad Tavares fight? He just got a big win here too. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, man. Brad Tavares just win. And if he want to fight, man, I'm ready for December. Let's go. December is what you want on the paper. Yeah, December, I want to go back, and Brett Tavares is a great name for me. Very right here. Just one question for you. Uh, obviously, this is a really quick fight for you. Uh, a lot of times, things happen on other cards. People fall off. They call people who have, you know, quick wins, not hurt. Any chance you're willing to step up on, you know, on one of these short notice fights that happen? Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't like to get short notice. You know, um, I like to be ready for the fight like I was. Um, and, now, and, and especially now, I did like two camps, you know, pro because the fight supposed to happen June 24th, and then the fight goes get canceled, and they pushed to August, and then I was like a lot of month of trainings, and now I'm just gonna rest a little bit, but December is gonna be a great time for me to get back.
Actually, one more question. Uh, you mentioned you were in Oklahoma training jiu-jitsu. Oklahoma is also like a hotbed for wrestling. Uh, some some oh, of the yeah. colleges. Did you did you get a chance to you know check out any of the colleges and wrestle? Or yeah. Is that something you'll do in the future? No, I was I, I went in uh, Oklahoma College probably uh, OC. I I don't Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, yeah. And they train with those those kids there. And and back in the days uh, was the NCAA was happening at the time. And all, all, not much was the 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 the, the fighters who was there because they went to um, I remember I forgot the name of the city it was very close but it was in Oklahoma they went there to fight the NCAA but I trained for a couple of guys there and they were, that was amazing man a great wrestling there that was yeah. nice yeah Oklahoma State has one of the I mean for MMA I mean some of the biggest stars went to Oklahoma State oh yeah Randy Cormier Randy Gotora Molo Walk. Wow. Hendrix, wow. but also their coach John Smith is considered by many people to be the greatest American wrestler ever. Oh Still wow, wow! Yeah, I, I definitely know we will get back there. I just text uh, Rafael and say, bro, I wanna, you know, after this fight, I will take a little bit break, and then I will get back um, because I love it, man. I love the energy. is It's not a lot to do in Oklahoma, just training, but that's that's what I was looking for, and it was amazing to be there. Thank you. Real quick, uh, what are your thoughts on Adesanya versus Strickland? Oh, uh, man, I think it's going to be a nice fight. Um, Strickland, um, he got his chance. You know, he beat so many guys. And uh, I think that's his turn, you know, to fight uh, for the belt. And I think it's going to be a, a good fight um, for both of them. Uh, Strickland, man, Strickland have a very nice grappling. I, I trained with him, like, a long time ago. He's a black jiu-jitsu black belt, nice wrestling, and and he he had some chance, you know. The champion, it's amazing. I'm a big fan of Fedesanya, you know, the, the, his fight style, his wrestling, and everything. He's getting even better, but I think it's gonna be a good fight. Yeah. Any any prediction or or no? Ah, uh, I don't know. Probably, I would say Adesanya, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a good good match. Thank you. Yeah. Gregory, right here. There was a clip uh, circulating online before the fight this week. You were talking in an interview about how you had just kind of fallen in love with the striking, and you'd love to get the highlight reel knockouts. But tonight we saw you kind of get the best of both worlds, right? You're able to get the finish, but you mix in the grappling. So is it safe to say from, like, here on out, it's going to be sort of a grapple-heavy strategy, or is there still that part of you that wants to go out there and get the knockout? <laughs> Man, I... Like when my hand touching thing, they fall, and you know that's not my fault. My I know I have a power for that, but also like I said, um, I have much weapons to use it. I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt under Sensei Hick. My shot, the same guy give the black belt to Ronaldo Jacare Souza. So yeah, I was world champion, and and then um, and I was using a lot because like I said, I went to Oklahoma for training with Rafael just for you know go back in my roots and say, man, I have jiu-jitsu. And, and, and that's, that's one more thing uh, I can show for all the division. I'm a completed fighter. I, I can't fight on top, but I also, I have my wrestling game and my jiu-jitsu. So, but for this, specifically this fight against Dennis, I knew his jiu-jitsu was, he don't have jiu-jitsu at all. I saw, you know, and then I, I said, man, if I is smart, I'm a smart. That was with all my, you know, good things I have. I can use it. I will put this guy down. Why am I going to expose myself, you know? And that's what I did, and that was work. So, yeah, but uh, also I want to say thank you to my coach from IHP and FHE. Um, man, they did an amazing job with me with the conditioner. And then be, I didn't use it a lot, my jiu-jitsu. Some of the, the reasons is like, I'm not always too confident, you know, to grappling and then if the fights come back on top and, and I said, man, I was, but uh, they, I, in the IHP, we did amazing job together. You know, I told them, man, I, I need to use my jiu-jitsu in this fight, especially for this fight. And they helped me, support me, FHE and they, and that and, and just showed that in, in the cage. And what's, uh, what's the relationship like with Mark andre Barrio? I saw he just re-signed in the UFC. I saw he's here with you tonight. So what's the relationship between you guys? Bro, man, this guy, I love you, bro. I love you, man. Man, um, yeah, bro, one of the things I love in MMA, 
you know, we, we, even we go inside the cage just ourselves there, but we have support for many, many people around me. And he, I brought him for the first time in my corner, man. And this guy gave everything he had to help me. I saw in his eyes, he really wanted me, you know, win and, 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 and see my best, you know. Um, man, that's, I, I say, I always talk with Daniel, one of my coaches too, he's here for me. And I say, man, the best choices I did for this fight was bringing Mario, uh, Mark Barrio for my fight because this guy is, is, is for me 100%. And that was what I needed. And they did. And the fight just happened while we was working on. <laughs> and then I said, bro, he's he gonna fight in October. And I said, my brother, I wanna see your arm rising up and I'm gonna give you everything I have to see you on top, brother. Even we in the same division, but uh, probably the chance we fight is, is, you know, it's not too much. We have so many guys for we bitch, you know? And then I said, bro, it's your turn next time. And I'm here for you, brother. Thank you so much, man. You make a part of this work, man. A lot, man. A lot. Thank you.